Welcome to Delta Quad Tutorials. This tutorial will take you through the process of geotagging your images in MLID Studio after your Delta Quad Pro mapping mission. In this example, we are using the MLID RS2 base station and the MLID M2 rover. Using the MLID Flow app, download the Rhinex files from your base station and rover. You will need both of these files to geotag the captured images. Open the MLID Studio software and select Drone Data Processing from the drop-down list in the upper left corner. Click on the Drone tab and select the rover's observation file and set the antenna height to 0 meters. MLID recommends that you leave the antenna height at 0 meters because most photogrammetry software has the feature of calculating the antenna offset, which is the camera center position relative to the antenna's position. Click on the Base tab and select the Base Station's observation file. By default, the Rhinex header position is used. Now it's time to add your navigation file. Click on the Navigation tab and add your Base Station or Rover's navigation file. Click on the Process button and the software will begin to generate a position file. When the position file has been processed, it will be displayed on the plot. The position file with the photo's positions will be automatically added to the timestamps field in the geotagging menu. Please note that MLID Studio can only geotag photos when the number of timestamps is equal to the number of photos. The next step is whether you want to geotag the original images or if you want MLID Studio to create a copy of the images with the geotagged metadata embedded, leaving the original images unchanged. Click on Folder with Photos and select the captured images from your mapping mission. Click on the Tag Photos button to start the geotagging process. When the geotagging process is complete, you can click on Show Result Files to access the geotagged images. You can verify the images are geotagged by right-clicking on an image and looking at the file's metadata. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe.